What's up guys? I got baits dangling, ready to put them in water. It is uh, close to the end of August right now. I haven't been out too much uh, post spawn just due to some personal stuff going on. We're in the process of moving and uh, work is super busy and I'm short handed. And whatever. So I'm out. I made some time. I'm out here right now. We don't have a lot of current, unfortunately. Uh, which can make things tough finding flatheads with no current. So typically what I do with no flow, I run up river, I get close to the dam. So we're gonna be focusing on the, just below the dam approximately, you know, the first couple miles below the dam upstream in this pool. We got fresh moon eye for bait. Shout out to Ken for the hookup earlier today. Stick around for the action. spot first spot didn't pan out this feels like a decent fish Get the first one going. A little bit of drag. fish to get started. Oh god, I thought I was going to lose my net. He just tried to bite the side of my boat. Oh yeah, man, that's a nice finish, boy. Probably a 30 pounder. Yeah, that's a good one, bro. Perfect hook set right in the corner of the mouth. one all right guys like i said earlier the only bait i'm using today is uh fresh cut moon eye it was caught today it's been fresh on ice and i got two rigs i'm running all three ways with varying uh hook leaders lengths but on half the rods i'm running floats half the rods no float so we'll see usually when there's not a lot of flow those floats work for me it's about the only time you'll see me use a float flathead fishing um it's just good to keep those baits off the bottom. 
right in the strike zone so they can see it and hit it. This guy did not come off a float. Back in the river. Oh, he got me good. <laughs> He got me good. The old channel rod came in. Feel as big as in the lot, the first one. You never really know with flatheads, though, man. They come alive right by the boat, right under the boat. But he's kind, of, he's coming up kind of easy. Took about two inches of drag. It's not bad. <laughs> Got a glimpse of him. Definitely bigger than I thought he was. Yeah, that's a good. That's another decent fish. All right, guys, there's number two. Not a bad fish. Let's try to get another one. One thing I like to do that seems to help out whenever there's no flow on these rivers is I love to get a bait out in that channel. These flatheads, they don't have any current to kind of dictate where they're going to go or really push them in cover. A lot of the fish in cover right now, flathead wise, aren't active anyways. So these fish are just cruising around. Um, you know, there's there's no barely any current. There might be 0.3 mile per hour current right now. So I love to just launch one out toward the middle of the channel or way off the ledge into the channel. No matter what type of spot I'm fishing in these conditions and it, you know, a lot of the time, more often than not it pays off that the last fish came on. channel rat. I think the other one is too. His twin, legit. Ah, oh, 
thought he just came off. Whatever. He counts that. He was completely out of water. He counts. Alright, well, still on spot two, but just doubled up on rats, so that means we're about to move to spot three. Skinny little sucker. Him and his twin is cruising off your feet together, apparently. Alright, we're gonna pull him in and find another spot. That was a really good fish, man. He was heel and drag. I, I didn't even turn him. Freaking ran straight across my other lines or slime all the way up my leader. That's three good flatheads, and none of them came on these floats, so this float's coming off this rod. Man, that was a good fish. That one hurts. That one hurts. He was just screaming drag straight over toward the bank, and I couldn't stop him or turn him. And the freaking hook hold. hold. <sighs> That's going to hurt until I get another one. Spot four, spot three, all that produced was that one bite. Uh, unfortunately, is the bite I was looking for. But we didn't stay thin. This spot looks promising here. Back behind the boat, there's several elevation changes, a couple dips and holes, and uh, there's a good sized tree and root ball just on the downside of one of the drops. There was, it looked like there was a couple fish in the root ball and then in the bottom of the hole behind it. So my baits, I buried them. The, you know, there's one that's probably about 40 feet behind the boat. And then I bombed one probably about 100, 120 feet behind the boat. And the two on the outside, I just kind of kept them on the perimeter. We've had, we've had two, two baits sniffed here so far. I've only been here about five minutes, so it's looking promising. Hopefully one gets smoked here.
us apart. I've only been here for about a minute and a half. Had one on, I believe he spit it right before I reeled. But I was just kind of cruising around looking at side scan and uh, not even really paying attention to where I was at. Found some stuff I wanted to fish and turns out I'm like smack dab in the middle of the river. So I gotta keep my head on the swivel and uh, make sure I don't get run over by a barge. But there's fish out here clearly because that rod went down in 90 seconds. Fish on. either a little flatty or a decent channel cat. Let's see if I can keep them on. i having some bad luck. Well, it's better than a little channel cat. episode. Um, I tried one more spot, didn't get a bite, so I'm going to wrap it up while it's still kind of early. Um, I plan on hitting the river again tomorrow night. we still got a bunch of bait left, so hopefully you know, we can get into them a little better than we did tonight. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. Look oh at that my God. flathead. That's a giant. <laughs>